All right, so uh, this is going to be the first video for the uh, Python version of the backpropagation neural network uh, script or class or whatever. So let's uh, just get to it. Um, all we're really going to need for all of this stuff, this is, by the way, just the neural network Python file. Um, I've decided to call it neural network.py. And. Um, Minimize that. And all we're going to need to import uh, for this entire thing is NumPy. So let's go ahead and import NumPy as NP. Good to go. And we'll go ahead and start building our class. So class uh, back propagation network. Looks like this. Put a little string. Tell you what, I'm not going to say the, I'm just going to say a. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's write down some class members. Um, sorry, I'm going to try and um, comment this as quickly as possible. This first video is probably just going to be uh, class members, maybe the init method. The next video will probably end up being the run method, and then we'll get into the training method and, and all that kind of good stuff. So. Um, let's talk about class members. Um, some things that we're going to want to hold on to. So let's say layer count. All right, let's just default that to zero. Um, shape. So I'll add a shape property. And the cool thing, well, one of the cool things about Python is we have tuples just built in. So for shape, it's literally just going to be a tuple that is the exact size of the network. And then when we start adding um, different transfer functions, you'll be able to pass in a list of functions and it'll just use them and it'll be so easy. Uh, so, what else do we need? Um, weights, well the weights are going to be a NumPy array. I'm sorry, that's a lie. Um, <laughs> weights is an empty list. So, the plan is, uh, we have a list of weights here and each set of weights is a matrix. Uh, which you should know if you watch the vectorized backprop videos. Um, so I can have a list of weights here, which holds uh, in each, uh, I don't know, position in the list, a pointer to a NumPy array, which is the matrix of weights that connects the previous layer to that one. So it's also going to be structured like the other backprop videos, where a layer will be, the weights that are assigned to a layer are the weights that precede it. If I don't, you can't see anything here, but if it were to go from left to right, then if I had a layer right here in the center, the weights on the left side um, that feed into it are the weights assigned to that layer. Okay, so this is just what we'll have for now. This is a nice simple start. And let's make some class methods. Okay, so let's start our dunder init self, oops. Uh, layer size. So we'll pass in layer size, which is going to be a tuple of layers. Okay, so initialize the network. Um, okay, so first of all, let's set the layer count. It's going to be, well, the length of this list layer size. Well, it's going to be a tuple. Uh, minus one. So why minus one? Uh, because the input layer is really just a buffer that holds information. So if I pass in a list, let's say 221 for a 221 network, there's only two sets of weights. And so the number of layers is really one less than the length of the tuple that's passed in. Um, Self.shape, let's go ahead and just write this down, is going to be layer size, right? So this will just be a tuple you can refer to network.shape and it'll spit out exactly the shape of the network. So that'll be convenient. Um, what else do we need? Well, we need to uh, initialize the weights. I think we'll get to that next. So sorry, let me add some comments in here. This is a little out of order. Let's just put layer info here. Let's put, um, so this will be input output data from the last run. Um, and so this will be self dot under layer input. 
sorry, can't type, is an empty list. Self dot under layer output. What is going on here? Empty list. So sorry. Layer man. Output equals. I swear I know what I'm doing. Okay. Um now what were you complaining about? Okay. Okay, so let's let's talk about the weight arrays. So let's get those dimension correctly first. So create the weight arrays. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to take this tuple layer size here, and let's just use an example. So A equals uh, 232, something like that. Okay, so let's say this is the size of our network. So the first set of weights that I need to create is going to connect something with two nodes to something with three nodes. Now remember that we need to include a bias node, so it's actually going to be one more than the leading digit and as many as the following digit. So a clever way to go through this and pair these up is with slicing. So first, let's take a look at this. Um, so let's zip, and I'll just go ahead and do it, and then we'll, it'll be obvious what's going on. Um, a, I want to slice everything off but the last one. So this is going to be a list of all of the um, coming from size nodes. So from there, and I want to zip that with A from the first one on. All right. Let's go ahead and just look at that. Oh, I guess I need to list this out or something. Okay, so this goes through it pairwise. And so I'm going to take 2, 3 and make that its own little list. And 3, 2, make that its own little list. And for each set, I'm going to zip them together. So I get 2, 3 and 3, 2. Um, and then for each one of these, I need to create a matrix that's going to come from something of this size to something of this size. Except that this from is going to be a plus one because of the bias node. So this will be from three to three. This will be from four to two. Okay. So let's go back here. Now, for L1, L2 as a tuple in zip and I'm just going to zip the layer size right because that's what we're looking at here uh, everything except the last one with layer size of the first one sorry the second element to the end just like that okay so L1 and L2 then are going to be this first and last digit here so let's go ahead and do self.weights.append. And I want to make NP. Now I'm going to go ahead and just make a matrix of random numbers. Dot normal. Sorry. Scale equals 0 0.1. So this is just to make them small. And the size is going to be the tuple that is L2 in the beginning and L1 plus 1 in the end. Okay? So why is it like this? Because <sighs> I need to do matrix multiplication um, with the set, the size of input nodes, you know, however many we have here, let's say we have 10, uh, they'll be arranged in a column, and that means that I need that many, so <laughs> they will be arranged as a column vector, which means there will be 10 rows which means the weight matrix will have to have 10 columns. So coming from something with, well, this will be three elements, from something with four elements, the number of rows needs to be the dimension of the output uh, of the, or I'm sorry, it needs to be the size of the current layer. Uh, and the number of columns needs to be the size of the previous layer plus one for the bias node. All right, hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so let's let me cut this off real quick, um, and then let's say this. So, if run as a script, create a test object. Okay, so if dunder name equals dunder main, then um, we're going to do the following. So BPN equals back 
propagation. And let's initialize it. Let's just say 221, something like that. And that would be it. So I think we can actually just run this. And nothing happens. Okay, so maybe I had a, I should have it say something. Um, let's say print vpn.shape. And run it. 221. Okay. So, uh, in fact, let me also, while we're here, let's print bpn.weights and run it. And there you go. So this is the size of the network. It's 221. And these are the weight arrays that we've just initialized. So the first one here is two rows and three columns because it needs to go from something of size three to something of size two. Remember, we need to add the bias term. And then the next one goes from something of size three to something of size one. So there you go, one row, three columns, just like that. Okay, so random normal is just a, to get some small random numbers. This could probably be even smaller. Um, so there you go, we'll have some small random weights. And look how easy that is, the whole thing's set up. Okay, so this is it for initializing the network. The next video we will um, go through making the run method to run it on a set of data. All right, later.